Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this particular problem. In this problem, it is said that the machine shown is used for moving heavy items such as pallets of bricks around construction sites. For the horizontal boom position shown, determine the force in each of the two hydraulic cylinders AB. So we have to determine the forces in the two hydraulic cylinders, these AB. One is on our side and one is on the other side of the vehicle, right? So it is said that the mass of the boom is 1500 kg with mass center at G1, right? Here is the mass center and the mass of the cube of bricks is 2000 kg with mass center at G2, right? So the weights of the brick is 2000 kg and the mass, the weight is acting at this particular point G2, right? So to solve this problem, what we will do is that we will consider uh, this horizontal boom for equilibrium, right? So if I uh, draw the free body diagram so we will have the free body diagram like this right so this will be our free body diagram here we have that uh, g1 this is that g2 right and this is that point b and this is that point o right so now uh, as we can see that uh, this AB will apply this these two hydraulic cylinders will apply the force in this direction from A to B right so if I represent that force so we will have that force like this right so this is that force which will be acting from A towards B and let's say that this force is FAB and since we have two such hydraulic cylinders so we will have two times this force right and here at this G1, we will be have that weight, which is uh, 1500 kg mass, right? So let me represent that weight, which will be acting vertically downward, right? And it will be 15 times 9.81. So 1500 times uh, 9.81 gives us 14715, right? So 14715 Newtons, right? And similarly, the weight of the bricks will be acting at this particular point, at this G2, right? And this will be 2000 times 9.81, right? So 2000 times 9.81. So this is 19,620 Newtons, 19,620 Newtons, right? And here at this point O, we will have two reaction forces. So let's say that we will have OX and we will have OY like this, right? So now if I apply the summation of moment about point O equals to zero, and if we assume that the counterclockwise moment is positive, so we need to resolve this uh, FEB into its components, right? So it will have two components, right? So it will have one component will be acting in the horizontal direction like this let me represent that so we will have one component like this this one will be the cost component and we will have one come like this right so we have to find uh, the angle of this fab with the horizontal right so if i find the angle of this fab if i find this angle theta then this one will be the cost component and this will be the sine component so we can find this uh, angle by using these dimensions if I consider this triangle. So this is that theta, right? So we can find this theta by using, by applying tan theta. So if I apply tan theta, so tan theta will be equal to perpendicular. So the perpendicular length is 890 plus 150. So this will be 890 plus 150 divided by the base, right? So this length. So this length, the base is 740 mm. So I will write 740. So if I take 10 inverse, so that will give us this angle theta. So this is uh, 10 inverse, 890 plus 150 divided by 740. So this theta comes out to be 54.57, right? So this theta is 54.757 degrees right so now we can find if uh, if this angle is theta here right so then here this force will also be making that same angle theta here these two angles are alternate angles right so then this one is the cos component we can write that this is 2 f e b cos of theta and this one is 
to f a b sin of theta right so now if i apply the summation of uh, moment about point o equals to 0 so as we can see that uh, this f a b component is producing the counter clockwise moment about this point o right this uh, cos component will be acting at this point b like this right so this uh, cost component is at 150 mm distance from this point o right so it is producing the counterclockwise moment about this point o so i will write 2 f a b cos of theta so theta is 54.57 and the perpendicular distance of this cost component from the eight point o is 150 mm so i will multiply this with 150 and similarly this sine component is producing the counterclockwise moment about the point o so i will write plus 2 f a b sine of theta and theta is 54.57 and the perpendicular distance of this sine component from the point o is this distance this 740 mm right if i represent that sine component here so this distance right so the perpendicular distance of this sine component from that point o is sorry this distance this is 600 mm right this distance is 740 and this distance is 600 so i will multiply this so it's 600 right similarly this weight is producing the clockwise moment about that point o so i will write minus this is 14715 and the perpendicular distance of this weight from that point o is the summation of 1700 plus 740 plus 600 right so i will write now as we can see that this weight is also producing the clockwise moment about that point o so i will write minus 19620 and the perpendicular distance of this weight from the point o is the summation of 3060 1700 740 and 600 right so i will write 3060 plus 1700 plus 740 plus 600 right and this will be equal to 0 so now I will simplify this term first right I will simplify this term so this is uh, we can write that this is 14715 into uh, 1700 plus 740 plus 600 so this gives me 44 733 600 so 44 733 600 Similarly, we can simplify this as uh, 19,620 into 3,060 plus 1,700 and similarly, we can add up both of these terms, right? So, I will write this as minus answer, right? So, minus answer minus answer minus this value right so this is 44 7 double 3 600 this is 600 right remember this is 600 so this gives me minus let me write it here right so this will be minus 1 one six double four one five six hundred right and we can simplify this we can take uh, 2 f a b common from this so we will have it as 150 cos of 54.57 plus 600 sine of 54.57 right and this will be equal to 0 so this is a uh, 150 cos of 54.57 plus 600 sine of 54.57 so this is 575.85 so this is 575.85 into 2 f a b right and if we bring this to the other side of equation so we will have it like this so this is uh, 16415600 right so we can find the f a b value so we will divide this value by two times this right so this is one six double four one five six hundred 
divided by 2 into 575.85 so this gives me FAB equals to so this is uh, 142759 142759 Newton and if we divide this answer by 1000 so the FEB force will be in uh, kilonewtons so this is 142.76 so each of these AB hy hydraulic cylinders will apply 142.76 kilonewton force in order to keep this boom in the horizontal position so I hope you people would have understood uh, this problem kindly like my videos if they help in your learning and also subscribe my channel for such more problem solutions.